Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I am continuing with Sidecore interview question series. This is part 5 of the series. I would highly recommend to watch the previous videos if you are preparing for an interview. And if you watch all the 5 videos, you will definitely cover a lot of area in Sidecore and you will be able to answer the interview questions. So without any further ado, let's get started and discuss the questions. So first topic would be Sidecore security architectures and these are the questions from that. The first question would be how do you create users and roles in the Sidecore? So you should be aware of the process of creation of users and roles in Sidecore. The second question is describe how Sidecore handles conflict security rights. So how Sidecore handles that you should be aware of. The third question is what happens if a role denies an access rights and another role allows it? So one role denies it and another role allows it. So what will happen in this case? Which will get the preference? So you should be aware, you should know that. The fourth question is how you can check the effective permission of an account. So you know the username and how do you check what, what is the effective permission that that account is getting. So you should know the process. The fifth question is how do you build and configure a site core workflow? So you should know this. The sixth question is what are two consequences if an item version is not in a final workflow state so what what is what are the consequences if it's not in the final version state the seventh question is how to connect a workflow to a template so you should know how you can connect a workflow to the template so that you can reuse it so try to answer these questions in the comment section if you face any problem do ask me the next topic which i'm choosing for today is finalizing and development so the first question is what are the advantages and disadvantages of unit testing so you should know the advantages and if any disadvantages there you should also know that the second question is how you can cre create a build script so how how you can create a build script and how you can automate the whole process you should know that the third question is why would you script your build process when you develop with the site core so what are the advantages of building that script uh, when you are involved in the development of the site core so what are the advantages and how you automate the process the fourth question is how to set dependency injection so you should know how you can the fifth question is why it is easier to work outside the web route when it comes to deployment so you should know the advantage of it and the sixth question is how to automate the serialization so how you can automate the serialization process you should know whether you can do it through script or whatever other ways you can do it you should aware of that so the next topic which i am covering is the documentation and support now these questions are not asked as such in the interviews but you should aware of these and these would be very beneficial for beneficial for you so the first question would be discuss site core versioning policy so what is the versioning policy of site core like 9.3.1 and what are major version and minor versions you should know that second question is how to get a support so how where you should know where to raise the ticket and how you can get the site core support so you should know the process of it third question would be how to become a site core mvp now you should know how you can what is the career graph of MVP what are the advantages if you become a site core MVP the fourth question is site core documentations and community links so from where you can find the resources of site core and the community support from where you can get you should know the sites the blogs and uh, the documentations so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and please do like share and subscribe the channel I appreciate it thank you so much